Into the crack house. 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 Welcome to Fort Fritz episode 19. I am your host, Fritz, joined as always by co host Man Daddy. Hi. Nick Spry. Hello. Kaz. Hello. And Angela. Hello. Um, how was everyone's Halloween? Was it good? Good. Hello. Yeah, pretty chill. <clears throat> I told you guys I had the weird, uh, I was visited by three cats. <laughs> really? That's right. Yeah. It was very strange. It was weird. I, I didn't realize past. it until afterwards. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to re-examine the day to see if anything strange had happened. Maybe I'd crossed over or something. But. Did you first see another cat that had a bunch of chains on it? <laughs> like you know? a spooky ghost cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, Reaper like cat. A, the real Scrooge there of Halloween. Real. No, they were just, they look like normal cats and they like. They're just prancing around. So. Okay, that's so how they fool you. All right. at one time, like these three random ass <laughs> no, cats came over. It was uh, <laughs> it was one in the morning, one in like okay, midday, so and the then cats, one at night. Small or large? Morning cat was uh, probably an adult cat. It looked like a mama cat. It had like a belly on Aww. it, and it was like uh, you know pretty wild, like an udder. Uh, or that maybe looked it udderish. Pregnant. It looked udderish. Mm-hmm. It did, but yeah. I mean, it was like whatever. Was it a cow? I mean, did no, you get like, visited by a cow? <laughs> Mini cow? Uh, what were they? <laughs> pork cow? <laughs> pork cow. <laughs> pork cow. <laughs> little tiny pork cow. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a. It just looked like a normal cat, but um, it walked away from me. And then the other one was like a little kitten, and it like sprang and tried to eat a lizard or something. And this then kind of looked at me. Now? Uh, midday. This was like an orange kitten. Oh. And uh, it tried to eat something in the backyard. I think it failed at getting it, and then it like. Saw me and scurried away under the shed, which I also know that an armadillo lives under. So it's weird that I don't know if they were just cohabitating down there. I didn't hear Maybe the scuffle. armadillo begat these small cats. The kitten. And we just have like a whole other thing going, a whole other thing going on. So in kittens my backyard. turn into armadillos eventually. Yes, I didn't know that. Hmm. I can't wait for Jolene to change. That's yeah. got to be some sort of Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna try Maybe and catch either. that. So this third cat, and then the third cat was, um, I'm, I've been calling him Tom Cullen. <laughs> Does anyone get that reference? Isn't he an no. author? Um, Is he like a spy author? No. Oh. Who's <laughs> Tom Cullen? If you know who Tom Cullen is, uh, call into the show or yeah. write, and we'll. Uh, it I'll, rings I'll a bell, but I can't. I'll give you a special I'm not prize. Answering the door. I'm not, I'm not telling you guys. Now I want to know. No. I will not look. I will not. You know, I have Google. I'll, I'll tell you at the break. I'll Google tell you at the break. <laughs> so you really did get like Christmas caroled <clears throat> on Halloween. So the last cat was jet black, uh, nice. and it was like Perfect. in the shadows. And I go out back to light a cigarette. I'm standing on my back porch, and I like just get the sense. You know, you get the sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, something's here, but I don't know what it is. And then I like look over and i'm like it's a there's a really dark spot in the lawn but you know it's shadowy whatever it's probably just a shadow and then i light my cigarette and i see these two eyes flash like in the uh, in the light of the cigarette and i look over and then he immediately gets spooked and kind of you know runs Darts yeah away. maybe Aww. like 10 feet away stops looks at me and then slinks into the shadow so you were you were you went on the side quest of three cats Maybe, yeah. Maybe they were. Maybe they were like if, that, that was like their initiation or something. They had to like come and face me, the big like ogre dude. That <laughs> You're being like cat hazed. I could see that. Or maybe they're they're, they're scoping you out. I'm you still know. hung up on this whole Scrooge thing. Like, did you run out after it was all over and be like, "Excuse me, boy," to like a kid in like a Power Rangers costume? And be like, "I mean, it. and he's like, "It's it's Halloween. It's Trick or treat. Give me some candy." And you're like, "Go to the store and buy me a Christmas goose." <laughs> He's Take like, this kind of I, fancy feast. I'm, I'm my no longer my my heart has been melted. I'm no longer Scrooge. It's like I'm seven. My kittens. parents are here. It's uh-huh. 2017. This is not money. This is a Chuck E. Cheese token. <laughs> 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 so if you get visited by an old woman in the morning, um, a hunter during the day, a or just hunter. someone wearing camouflage, maybe just a young spry person. Yeah, Ooh. right, next spry person. And then <laughs> if you're out and about and you just look over and see someone and and you're just like, what's up? I Those, think that's it. That's the uh, prophecy. They're the uh, three representations of the cat. I can see that. Yep. All right. So we got that. Or you have the whole Sphinx riddle, but maybe kind of. So that was stuff. my Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's awesome. not, a, not a bad way to spend Halloween. Yeah, it was great. Absolutely amazing. Did anybody else sitch? do anything better than that? I mean, I spent it with you. That was pretty cool. It was uh, kind of boring now. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah I it mean, that's what boring. I meant to say. It was boring. <laughs> uh, we did. We did the mellow. We actually we had a friend who has a big, huge uh, Halloween party every year where they make up the house. Every room is different. They had a whole room that was like the upside down. That was awesome. really cool where they took off one of the panels and they had like a kid going up into it with these tendrils coming down. It looked really cool. That's awesome. But they did that on the 21st. Because mm. of scheduling conflicts, they had to do it early. And so we got our, that day, you know, dressing up and everything out of the way really early. 
And so the rest of the uh, you know the week or two was like basically just horror movies and uh, Stranger Things too. Nice. Yes. Yeah, we watched a lot of scary movies and Stranger sure. Things too. And on Halloween, I dressed up as an astronaut in like a ten year old boy's costume astronaut costume. That video, oh yeah, it's yeah. barely really fit. Brilliant. brilliant. It's amazing. And um, I could only wear it for a little bit because it was just way too tight on me. It was like it was it was a <laughs> little boy like ten year old boy's costume. Like I was like. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. You couldn't put your arms down. I couldn't really. I couldn't put my arms down. Um, <laughs> Can I get a hug? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> how did you guys do the the video? So I basically I just told my boyfriend I was like, we got the slow mo feature on the camera. Is it the mm-hmm. iPhone or Android? The iPhone. The iPhone. Okay. So and I was just like, I'm just gonna throw candy <laughs> and like and then jump up. <laughs> but we did like 10 takes like oh, ten that was 10 takes because yes. yeah. that, that was perfect you know, I was wonder one. if you had like a mini tramp if you I were didn't. using like a mini tramp I didn't was, like, I wish I did yeah but um, we I tried one where I like, threw it like sideways, and they were like running after it. But like <laughs> you couldn't see the NASA symbol, so it would have uh, looked you, weird. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, but that that was the most exciting thing that happened <laughs> was in my driveway <laughs> filming that. <laughs> so it was awesome. Did anyone get uh, many trick or treaters? Like yeah. three. We actually had the most we've ever had at our really? house. We've been there for seven years, and we actually had a good amount throughout the night. You and know? your address again is. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, no, well then what was the best costume you saw uh they're all really kind of generic uh just you know you had your batman you what had are your you? Uh, I'm pirate. Beige. <laughs> but uh, one little girl oh my i uh um oh i've got I, i've got the thing of candy like you know around around waist level and i ha- i'm handing her two freaking two uh um kit kat and she takes my, my hand she goes no and she throws them back thing i want these and grabs two twix and so i'm like no you get one Twix now. <laughs> oh, whoa. I'm like, um, if, if your parents aren't teaching, I'm going to take control of this situation. And even if her bl- brother was like, okay, Jeannie, are you acting up? I'm going to tell mom you're acting up. I'm like, I felt like saying, you had two right there or something. Instead, you got one of something. How do you feel now? Welcome to Trump's America. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, Mike so, but actually, those we, we actually had a good amount throughout the night, you know? We kept. <laughs> We kept just trying to give candy away, and like there was one time we were like, "Please take a handful it's of candy." They're like, "No," and you go, "Like seriously, please." And, and then you look back at their guardian or you know parental figure, and they're just like, "Come on," and they're like, "All right," but you they look at you, and you know, just a small party right. of their soul has died. They're like, "This isn't how it should be." You're this is <laughs> something's wrong. Something's this wrong. This is wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you guys answering the door like, together. In just holding each other's hands. <laughs> well, sort of weird I mean, yeah, maybe, them back and forth. Yeah. Maybe these were like really like terrible oh. conservative little kids, yeah. <laughs> little homophobic kids. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to judge kids, but yes, but you should. Were. You took yeah. the show. I mean, Mrs. Totally Fritz was here too. So. Yes, Mrs. <laughs> Fritz was here, and she was like, "Come Ms. on, Mrs. Fritz, please, please." I start throwing it at them, just eventually just whipping it at them, and I as they to. run down your driveway. Try to parents do not like that. Yeah, I know. I get really touchy about that. It's really sad because we give away bricks. We do. Speaking of bricks, <laughs> I gotta rock. have you guys uh, heard of this latest MUFON sighting? Uh, a man walking the Great Wall of China took a snapshot, and in the distance, you see you see this large cylindrical um, saucer, almost just like a flat moving disc. And there's even video. Oh, and this was Friday, November third, twenty seventeen, and it was. Uh, there's multiple. Um, eyewitness accounts, um, and this is from uh, express.co.uk. UFO shock as alien flying saucer snapped hovering over the Great Wall of China. Uh, MUFON, and you, okay, so for those who don't know, MUFON is the largest independent UFO, you know, uh, research organization. Right. Uh, they've, they've been around forever. They have an archive, a vast archive, so you can actually go back you can like kind of retro pinpoint like, my God, that was reported. You know, that thing that I saw, which is awesome. Um, this guy goes, uh, quote, I went for great wall walk. Like you do. <laughs> like you do. Like you're what to do. Yeah. Quick stroll. Sorry. <laughs> I went for great wall hiking. Oh. the actual oh. quote, But pretty wall. much. Uh, I didn't notice at all until I went back to the state and checked on my cell phone pictures. Hmm. The witness thinks it's a UFO because it looks like a UFO, but they added 
I think it was flying straight over the sky around the hill or great wall structure. I didn't realize at first as I, as I was capturing the view site of the great wall while hiking. The wall has been, he's very matter of fact. (laughs) Again, I was just hiking. (laughs) Okay. All right, man. It's a great wall. Only on walls though. Only on walls. Only on walls. And I like to take photos while hiking. I'm not doing anything else. Honest. It's like, wow. What do you right. think you're doing? Like buying crack or something? I mean, Wait, why is he so that's afraid? A quote? I'm, I'm not doing anything else honest. Everything <laughs> I've been saying, actual quotes. Now, obviously, if you see this video, and uh, I'll just show it to our uh, resident psychic, Man Daddy. Oh. All you have to do is just watch this. All right, so we just watched the video, okay? Man Daddy. Mm-hmm. Totally real, right? Not real at all. Not real at all. I would love it to be real. I would love because I would not want that, that to be real. It's massive. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's, go, when they come here, it's gonna be scary. Whenever they show up, the aliens, it's gonna be scary. Uh, you know, Elon Musk, uh, uh, Stephen Hawking, they all say the same thing. It's like you shouldn't be excited about the idea of aliens because no. if they got here, they're way more advanced than us, and they're probably looking for something. But that one in particular kind of looks very Harry Harry House Harry House. You, you know, Harry House Harry House and Harry Hair House. Was, was that the uh, stop motion dude? Yes, yeah. exactly. That looks very World of the Worlds. Very. 1950s like that's a classic yeah quote unquote UFO quintessential yeah, the, cigar- quintessential. the, the cigar model yeah. the cigar looks, model UFO yeah. it looks real right <laughs> well I mean like it looks too real it would be the best way to put it because if, it, uh, if that was real as they're trying to say it was by now it would be on every station in the world saying holy F Right, we're on the minisode, right? Holy yeah. fuck. Look at this this UFO. This is a fucking UFO. We finally found fucking Every UFOs. Every single person there would have been snapping pictures and taking yeah. video of it. Right. That would have made national news It wasn't within just minutes. like, oh, look at that. Right. International Absolutely. news within minutes. Yeah, people would have been, their brains would have been melting. I mean, that's the thing. When, uh, when UFOs do finally show up at some point and when aliens do make contact, it's going to ruin so many people's lives because it's going to just wreck their religious belief that they're the center of the universe and the only important thing. And all of a sudden something shows up that's way more intelligent, way more powerful. People are going to be able to handle it in a lot of ways. But you thought the video was real? Totally real. Okay. Totally real. We are uh, we are in danger of being invaded any day now at the Great Wall. What do you think, Angel? Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's now. <laughs> all right, all right. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. Anything to add on to this? I think I agree with I echo what Nick said that this is yeah if if that was real it would be same thing with the ghosts like we talked about the ghost hunter thing like if it was real then it would be international everybody news. would be talking there about it there wouldn't be like yeah. a weird like you know HGTV show about it or like it wouldn't be on like tw- the Twitter back page or whatever it would be I bring mind-melting. this up I bring this up because uh number 1 in the video that you all watched did you see it like do that that snap zoom and it was just perfectly shot. Right. It yeah. was in frame the entire time. That's someone who has an idea in mind and an establishing shot. He knows how to, or she knows how to do that in post. It was, it was perfect. And, you didn't and, get the zip back yeah. and forth of like zoom, like, no. oh, I'm not getting it right. It's out of focus. No, it went right like in. A very yeah. zoop. And, and you maybe that's audio, automated. And it's just wind. It's not people going, oh, shit. You know, I mean, there's no yeah, way that Chinese, would be yeah. whatever the Chinese equivalent, equivalent of that is. I don't know yeah. about you guys, but whenever I like oh, to go shit. wall hiking, I like to bring a steady cam. So, yeah. yeah. Well, when you're, you're, hike, when you're hiking, hiking on walls. Yeah. Yeah. When you go hiking, wall hiking on walls, you bring your steady cam. Standard. Duh. Only also, a noob would forget his steady cam. Also, uh, Mufon, I love you. But please, God, just have an auto renew. You have to send, them, have to send them, like, a check and pennies and shit in the mail, like, every time you want to... What right. happens if MUFON starts promoting Taylor Swift to you? Um, you know, I actually like Ooh. her new single. Oh, my God, what's happened? Who yeah. are you? What really have you done do. with Fritz? Ready for it? I'm going to go on record. Re- ready for it? I liked it. I dug it. Wow. All I, right. I am, I am, sh- I am shocked. Yeah. I am shocked and stunned. Um... This is a big turnaround. People, that, if you don't follow Fritz on the Facebook, he got a, a, lot, a little bit of a tear against Spotify for promoting Taylor Swift at him, and now he's turned. Tay Tay has turned him. I just thought for the longest time that uh, you know she got in because of her of her family connections, but my God, that new single is fucking great. Really, I love it. I really. She's a do. racist. That's ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? Suing, this is juicy. That's, I'm just saying that. That's Kaz at Fritz. <laughs> what? Do you, uh, do you have a no, reason no, no. to say that or just, just no. you just assume? She, she, I mean, she's just, you know, she looks like it. Like, what? You just, <laughs> you're just accusing her? Yeah. 
You could, a, you, could, you could smell it on her. There's a big uh, um, internet uh, campaign push right now to try to link her with white supremacy groups. Really? So really? Kaz, they're Kaz like, actually, they're, yeah. they're, uh, what is it called? It's like red... Red, red pilling. Red pilling. The them. same thing that Morty... Oh, they're doing the Rick and Morty, Rick and, Morty and the Pepe the, the Frog. They're like... Do uh, not take over Rick and Morty, you fucking assholes. Okay? Don't take over Taste Swift. Like co- I kind of like her now. co opting <laughs> Right. Welcome. Right. Why are they? Uh, is this a fucking 4chan thing? Yeah. God much. damn it. Like it! It's always. Is there something horrible going on? Yes. Who's doing it? 4chan. Okay. Every time. Every time. So Nick's Bright, what do you cast for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's well, fucking gonna, true. Yeah. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've gotten into the spooky lexicon, so I thought it would come back to yeah, the word. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Uh, so tonight's word is macabre. Ooh, I love that one. That's, That's a good word. Macabre. Wow. macabre. How do you spell it? Is that it M A K A B? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's wrong. M-A-K-O-B. I'm sure that's some species Makeover. of beetle or parrot, but uh, this is actually spelled M-A-C-A-B-R-E. Macabre. Yeah. And that, that doesn't means... make any sense. Maca- macabre. 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 It's macrame. So whenever macabre. I saw the word that looks like macabre, it's pronounced macabre. macabre. Yeah. That was one of my early ones. I think, what do we do? Uh, oh, Bedoin. Bedoin. <laughs> <laughs> The Bedouin, was, the Bedouin uh, tribes. Uh, Macabre Bedouin. was another early yeah. one for me. Like I didn't, I didn't know how to pronounce it. I had read it uh, more times than I had had to say it. You know, Macabre Bedouin. I only knew how to pronounce it because of old Bugs Bunny cartoons or like Warner Brothers cartoons because okay. they would use that word. And that's then like, I saw it printed and I went, Ah, oh, that's exact. That's what the, that's that Price. word. Yeah, Vincent Price. Like that, that's like that, a third of his sentences had that in it. So this word uh, is defined by Merriam-Webster as having death as a subject, compromising or including a personalized representation of death. Would say uh, also a secondary definition is dwelling on the gruesome, or a third would be tending to produce horror in a beholder. Uh, this word is used really a, a lot in association with authors like H.P. Lovecraft, oh, Edgar yeah. Allan Poe, when you're describing the type of subject matter that they're macabre. referring to. Right. You have to uh, say like macabre. Macabre. <laughs> it is a, <laughs> yeah, it's got that like molasses the, to it. The master macabre. of macabre. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. You're watching spooky movies this Saturday. Ooh. But uh, Find it at the Buck Snort Grab and Go. <laughs> <laughs> So this word has its root Punky, in um, Old French. Uh, 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 most people agree that it refers to this dance that was called the Dance Macabre. Oh, yeah. And that is the Dance of Death. And this has a lot to do with the the slaughtering of a peoples named the Maccabees. That's M-A-C-C-A-B-E-E-S. Scottish. If I may jump in, dance is also misspelled, right? Yeah, 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 well, it's D-A-N-S-E in French. Yes. Yeah, so that's, 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 that's wrong, though. <laughs> in, in English, it's wrong. Kaz wouldn't let me play that on Scrabble the other day. Well, again, you're only he allowed dominating you... me, so yeah, that <laughs> again, be a thing. You guys with your things. Uh, <laughs> so the the Maccabees were actually the when you're talking about the dance of the Maccabees, that's uh, in reference to the leaders of the Jewish revolt against right. the Syro Hellens. Uh, those well, uh, so the first usage of this word in the sense of gruesome was probably in the mid to late 19th century. You're thinking 1842 in uh, French and maybe 1880, 1889 in English. So only seven years passed? Yeah, it's about six, six, seven years. Gore. That was gore, wasn't it? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just a, that intentional totally derailment me. from yeah. French right there. <laughs> Just stick a fucking stick in his spokes yeah, next time. <laughs> Gotta jump tracks. So yeah. macabre. It's French. So macabre. So it's French. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the last little note on that is going to be basically uh, that this was used a lot in sort of uh, medieval, what they would call cycle plays that were religious plays that had psycho a, plays. Cycle, cycle, oh, cycle, like a bicycle. Cycle, cycle plays, plays. And, way cooler. Way cooler. Yeah. Go with these, that next time. These religious sort of evangelical plays <laughs> teaching you these stories, and one of them was featuring the slaughter of the, Ma- the Maccabees, <laughs> and hence the word dance macabre and this slaughter were put together, and people started using it. Later on and later Isn't on. Isn't it also like a really sick, like, uh, 80s goth band, like, you know, like, uh, March Violets and, like, 
Uh, Dance Macabre. Oh, much yeah. violent. Uh, well, there, there's there's, there's a classical musical piece mm-hmm. called Dance Macabre, and then uh, I know that Celtic Frost had a song called Dance Macabre, which is really it's a scary ass just soundscape of noises and you and, listen uh, to the creepiest, creepiest shit, does, man. True. What was the other one? The lady that like breaks into like churches and like defiles them and like yeah. sings satanic. Yeah, like, the plague, that's the Plague Mass by Diamante Gallas. Actually, had someone mic'd up and just. Punching a baby uh, sheep in the fucking face. <laughs> Sound of dense. It's awesome. It's Sound awesome, dense. man. Uh, also, Dance Macabre was uh, the last shot in the uh, the Seventh Seal by Ingmar Bergman. Oh, very cool. Seventh Seal of a Seventh Seal? Mm-hmm. Yep. Was that Lou Diamond Phillips? Was not that? <laughs> no, no, no. no, 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 no I'm Seventh Sign. Oh, Seventh Sign. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, seventh can't believe I Black and that. white. Nice. You know, I, 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 I can't that. believe I Theater. actually came up with Lou Diamond Phillips. Chess Game with Death. Okay. The whole Bill and Ted. Exactly. That's, that's, that's all I got. That, this week, that's the word. Macabre. Very nice. Angela, what do you got over there? Well, speaking of Bill and Ted, I went to Halloween Horror Nights. Oh. Nice. Oh. And I usually go earlier in the year, but this time I had to go like after Halloween. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was going to be like super dead, and it was so freaking packed. Nice. People love I don't that think thing. it's been dead one day this year. Yeah, oh. people love that thing. I mean, my friend has a frequent fear pass, so she went like multiple times. Frequent, frequent fear. fear. <laughs> I don't even know how much that is, but she goes that often. That every she... time you look at it, go, ah! <laughs> you just always walk around like feeling like something's looking over you. Yeah. Just one of those fright actors just follows you around all week. I love I love the names of that because also they're they're VIP tours, the RIP tour. Oh, like they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys see what they did there? Yeah. Ponzi. All right. That's great. So um it we so said we got there Friday night and it was super packed and we like ran to the back of the park because no one's gonna be back there. Mm-hmm. And we did Scarecrow, which is the best house. It's like based in like Nebraska in like 1960 something nice. and it was like this creepy scarecrow guys that would come out so, so not like, like an actual IP uh, like a movie IP this is like a, I don't a, think a, so like it's own thing yeah cool. was this a nice wide open, was it like a wide open area or was it like a bay um it wasn't one of the, like their little warehouse things yeah but when you walked in you like walk through like this like creepy cornfield to, like get in the house it was really cool that's cool Sounds yeah awesome. I've never been Really? I'm a huge oh. fan of horror, and I've never been because I just I can't handle crowds it's like that. Okay, I will say, great. here's the trick, and I don't know if they do this like the whole time. Get drunk. Get drunk, which I did. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of details for you guys. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> but um, but I had a great time. But, um, but like after 10, the express pass is half off. So oh, it's like really? 40 bucks. So and you can just chill out and then go yeah. later. Well, so what we did was like we did Scarecrow and then the Hive, which is like kind of like these creatures like from the Descent, like very like vampirish creepy like cave kind of creatures oh, know, like yeah they were like very yeah like very fishy vampire looking creatures they were really gross um and like then rubbery like yeah, they smell yeah like, like it was macaroni salad fish or, pirates, or, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then there was like and then we did the bloom house which is um insidious sinister and the purge like all mixed in in like <laughs> one house so you uh, walked from really? like one movie to the next, and then at the end, it was just like, ah, like all of them at once, like oh, at geez. you. It was really we've, awesome. We've talked about how much I hate that goddamn movie series. I, the Purge one. City. No, it's oh, I didn't like. I never watched the Purge. I never seen. Either. I've never seen the Purge or Sinister. Only Insidious. But you enjoyed the house. house. Which ones you hate? I love the house. Bad. Yeah, I watched them all too. I like was like they're gonna do because the first like thirty minutes of all of those are like really good. Like it could have been such a good series. All of them. All of the movies, and then they just. Fucking falls apart so hard. <laughs> so quickly. Ugh. I gotta ask. I've never done Halloween Horror Nights because I'm a big baby. Uh, so, do they have like spooky snacks and stuff there? Uh, like, do they have weird. Yeah, can you like, kind of themes, explain like, like, you, Yeah, like you aren't from Orlando. Like, what it, what it is? <clears throat> oh yes. So basically, Universal <laughs> at night they kind of become this, this like giant like grouping of a bunch of haunted houses, and the whole park just becomes like one big haunted house, like collectively together too. So it's like you're dope. walking. So I mean, they they change the lighting of everything. Like the the dine in theater, the dine in like diner, whatever like that. They like blank out like the um end and stuff like that. So it looks like die in. Like it's like <laughs> so they do little things like that. The lighting's all cool. They have fog. They have like cool like, lanterns like hanging up. And then you have all these scare zones. So you have the people with like chainsaws like coming at you and like jumping at you, just walking through just to get to other houses. Does and they the Harry have, Potter land figure into it at all? Um, you know what? Not really. Like okay. you can still go in the Diagon Alley because it's always in studios. They did it once or twice in Islands, but I feel like it was like too small for that. Mm-hmm. So they had to do it. Okay. So they started doing it studios again, and um, 
yeah, I guess Diagon Alley was open. You could do the rides because all the rides are up too. But um, but I didn't really think that there was anything back there because we didn't even go back there. Because I didn't know if they were going to do like spooky Harry Potter. No, I know, right? I doubt that J.K. Rowling would have like thought that was okay. Harry Potter. Yeah. Ooh. (laughs) Harry Potter. That would work. It's just just kids. As soon as they see this zombie Harry Potter, they go, he's dead. (laughs) (laughs) Super traumatizing. I thought that was the whole thing. He couldn't die. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) The boy who died. (laughs) It changed the whole series. It's my favorite indie album. But the crazy thing, what do you think about the with uh, Halloween the Horror Nights? Thing? Is that I know they do a lot of VIP tours, and I've seen a lot of that with like real radio. And like, if somehow like they had like a horror themed podcast that they want to go and do a VIP tour with next year, I don't know. It's just a crazy thought I'd like I to was, put out there. Yeah, I was Angel, going to suggest thing, that. Is this thing still going on? Um, it started in I think September, end of September, mm-hmm. and it just ended this past weekend. Oh hell, yeah. Next year, that, that'll do us no good. You gotta go during so, October. Yeah, next in next a year. year. Go. Yeah. Um, Someone put that on their calendar. <laughs> write that down. October. Yeah, yeah October. It. Just a, it's <laughs> a it. whole month for it. Yep. Got and it. you'll know it when they have the same commercial they play every 28 minutes on TV local here in Orlando this year. It sound I think it's a Marilyn Manson song. That, do you dream of me? Just every time you turn on the TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you dream? Yeah, no, I don't. I just turn you off. <laughs> but guy, still give us a VIP tour. That guy in overall comes out. He's like, you like me scared? Come on down. Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> do you want out of me? <laughs> <laughs> do you watch TV or just make up stuff in your head? Because I've never seen that commercial. Just close my eyes. Yeah, you, just, you just stare at <laughs> yeah. a TV without it turned on I, and just let things happen. Just, Whatever goes down, goes down. Mind is a TV. <laughs> so the Halloween Horror Nights. It's awesome rules. It was great. Um, also, the Academy of Villains, which is a dance group, they were badass. Academy um, of Villains, yes, is a, a great dance name. group. Yes, they're like this hip hop dance group, and they're right. so. And I was so mad because they like called people up from all the audience, oh. and I was like, hey, like, and my friend was like, I. She didn't tell me she'd gone before, and she's like, "I didn't know you would have wanted. I would have told you because I was like, I was like desperate. I was like, <laughs> and like, I think like he he like picked me, but this girl like jumped in front of me and she went up Aww. there, and I was like, no, like in the whole time because like I saw them last year and I love them, and was I was like, awful? I could have danced with them. Were were you like incredibly like infinitely she better than her? She was actually pretty good, uh. but like. They had What's her do, they had like a little dance battle with her and this other girl in the audience. You would have to like one-on-one dance battle someone if you did this you in would Halloween. slaughter Halloween. them. Yes. Oh my That's God. That's pretty cool. That's Bro. right as shit. And that my side would have been Tootsie Roll and I was like, God, I could have rocked. Oh. <laughs> I was destined to Tootsie Roll. Oh, because you get to like dance with them, you know, to do the lip. Right. Do the lip. And I would have been like, yeah, like getting it. <laughs> I would have won, but the best part would have been like hanging out with them on stage. It would have been so cool. That's dope as shit. And was yeah. it the final Bill and Ted's this year? It was the final Bill and Ted. It was great. I don't. Think, they have so many like things that they make fun of. I couldn't even list anything, but it was it was super fun. And they, I know do the dancers the in it. Being like nobody knows this movie anymore. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. They, Kids they, are too young. Somebody, yeah, somebody's somebody just like, what is this? <laughs> like, who are I think these two guys? so funny because the people go to that show every year, every but I bet year. most people in my audience have never actually watched any of those right. movies. Yeah. Well, and right also, down. I mean, other than the time that they die and they like have to go like deal with the death they, or they whatever they're going to reaper. But, but that's, I mean, that's the only that's scary the part top. of the movie. Other than that, it like was. it's a series yeah. about two goofy right. dudes who well, are this, like time travelers and then it's not horror at all. This show actually had the Reaper in it. All right. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I was told not to fear him. Yeah. Uh, so that's the last Bill and Ted show, huh? Yeah, it was uh, the last one. Ted I got to Bill. see this, like, like the second to last night. I heard that they were going to make another Bill and Ted, so maybe that's oh, they'll come back been around. in the works for a long time. All right, so they keep on coming up with scripts, and then having uh, it's been Keanu back Reeves and forth too for a cool year. For that now, like he can't. Like, no, he's still down. He's like he's, he's still down. Ass and, I don't like, know if Alex like, Winter would be into it though. No, he's the one who's really pushing it. Oh, really? Yeah, he's the one that's been writing the script and getting it. And, and, and Keanu's upset. Is it's that the other guy? Down. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. the other guy who basically was like in the Lost Boys. Bill and Ted. Oh yeah, he was. He had a short-lived MTV TV show. The boob no something tube or I don't know if he's. I haven't heard about him in years. So I imagine he's oh, got to be a little man. bitter. Yeah, uh, he's probably just doing every single podcast throughout the entire universe that wants to have him on. Let's so, hit hey, him up. Come on, yeah, let's hit him up. We're looking for you here in Orlando. Come Alex on, down, we'll get you into uh, <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> Anything you want, I will make your wildest dreams come true. This is this what? is Don's Macabre. Oh, oh, oh nice, uh. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh. I don't know. It's like I don't a know four minutes of shit. That. Yeah, that's, it's, yeah. <laughs> spooky. That, that's exact. That right there is exactly why I will not listen to a Tool album. <laughs> it's because you're like you're like put on some Tool and we'll just chill out and smoke some weed and then you're like forty minutes into it like listening to just like <laughs> like going through a weird alien time warp and I'm like all and right dude like turn the shit drums. off. Yeah. So, right, so you're a huge Tool fan, so you're like, absolutely you're a huge fan. Yeah. yeah. After enough glue, I am a huge Tool fan. <laughs> <laughs> What you got for us, guys? I got us uh, one piece of trivia. Ooh. Do you Trips. believe in love? Believe <laughs> in love. <laughs> do you um, believe? That's my answer. Do you know the, okay, so the, the classic Michael Myers Halloween mask yeah. mm-hmm. is actually modeled after a, an extremely famous actor. I yep. do know this. Oh, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. The oh, yeah. name of the actor. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm a trivia. Give me, a, give me like a dude, like a Jeopardy, like a click do, clock do, here, do, like ten do, seconds. Oh, nine, are we gonna write this down? Eight. Do, 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 seven. Do, 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 Nobody knows. I don't have a pencil. William Shatner. Jeff, what is it? William Shatner. Yes. William Shatner. William Shatner. Can you see it? <gasps> yes. Oh, yeah. oh my god. It's an old Kirk like Captain mask. Kirk mask that they spray painted white, and that's the that's the Michael Myers mask. So and, I thought that was interesting. And they did like recently. a blowout on the hair too. Right, yeah, like, they give yeah. them like a cool, like a sweet fade, like an orange fade. <laughs> a razor fade. The production company that uh, produced that movie, um, they were actually trying to save money, I think, on the production costs. So they went to a, a local like mask school, like store and they're like, well, no one's buying William Shatner anymore. And it was like $2. It was That's like awesome. something like that. So they just bought that. And they're like, oh, we can make this work because like, <laughs> it's expressionless. That's what's so terrifying about Michael Myers. And, and William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> that was double points. <laughs> points to the board. So uh, that's my piece of trivia. I have one nice. uh, review. Ooh. Yes. Uh, did you guys play the Shadows of Mordor, Shadow of War game that recently came out? No, but what? I have been playing the Amnesiac. Oh, uh, Dark Amnesia Descent collection. Yeah, Dark Descent. Yeah, that stuff is uh, that's that's creep. Yeah, what, that's wait, creep. What's this? Uh, Shadow of Mordor is um, it's like kind of like Assassin's Creed. But the uh, WB Studios, which is the the studio that put out the Batman games oh, okay. and the Witcher and games like that, uh, they put this out. And the game came out last year, and it was like pretty good. But in this one, they have like it's a beat 'em up, and you like beat people up, and you kill them or whatever. But you beat up orcs, and you kill so orcs. It has so it's orcs. orcs. It's Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. with Mordor. It's Lord of the Rings, right? Okay. right. So it's Just, like pre Lord of the Rings story, where like Mordor is still like weird little factions, and uh, so the whole thing is you go and you take over these little factions, and you're like the warlord of the orcs, and then you get to like the coolest shit. Uh, you get to make them fight each other in the fighting pits, and they level each other up, and they all have like like thousands and thousands of unique combinations of little skills that they can upgrade themselves they all have unique names and unique like faces and like little lines and stuff yeah they did a really cool procedural thing where like you i haven't seen the same one since really wow uh, uh this is ps4 xbox and i think they might have come out on pc as well uh it's just a a newer game but it's fucking it's super rad and i spent like an ungodly amount of time uh, just watching the orcs fight because you don't have to do anything. You go to a thing, you press a button, and you're like, this guy versus this guy, and this guy's like, poison axe, and the other guy's like, sickly to poison, and he's horrified, and he's got like a crossbow, and he's like running away and like shooting. Oh, fucking awesome. It's awesome, man. It's wow. really cool. And and they'll like rally and come back, like they'll become enraged, and all of a sudden, like he'll get super angry and rush the dude, and it's, so it's really kick, cool. You just kick back with popcorn and a bong yeah. and just enjoy yourself. We were, yeah, we nice. were just watching orc, like, Coliseum, basically, like we made them fight for our pleasure. It was awesome. Oh, oh is this, yeah! Is this third person, first person? What is, it's a what third is person action game. Imagine like Assassin's Creed. You're like running, jumping, and climbing and stuff, mm-hmm. and then orcs are there, and you can sneak into a bush and then violently kill them with a knife, or you can take. A, so part of the uh, part part of the problem, I guess, with this this game that some some of the uh, you know Uber PC folks are having with it is that one of the mechanics is you take over an orc. By like, because you're like this. I don't know. You know, I don't know how much like Lord of the Rings lore you know, but this is like Celebrimbor, who's like some elven ghostly spirit. Anyway, he takes over their minds with his hand, and he like yells pretty like disturbing shit at them, like "You're mine now" or whatever. But then, they're, <laughs> like they're your, then they're your, in your army. Their like armor turns from red to blue, and they're your, and they'll fight for you and stuff. So. Uh, it has like a mechanic in it where if the orc is too high level, you can only recruit orcs that are your level or lower. If you try to get a higher level one, 
you have to shame him, <laughs> and then oh, he'll wow. grab him and be like, "Oh, this was so easy to kill you." I thought you had to do something on Twitter where, like, you go on Twitter, you like, "Oh, Twitter just sucks. fucking roast yeah. him." Like, "What's up, dude?" Like, <laughs> hashtag roasted. No, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it uh, it's it's apparently drawn the ire of a few uh, people on Twitter. I think Vice has a somebody wrote a negative review about it because of that mechanic. It seems a little you you, you essentially enslave these orcs into being, you know, your your. Thrall, okay. but the way I saw it, and you know, maybe this might not jive with everyone, is that uh, the fucking orcs are tra- they're kind of, they're trying to kill us and enslave us. Like it's the Nazi <laughs> so, argument. So they're like, actually we don't need to fucking like. Oh my god, I can't believe that they're ch- uh, tormenting these orcs or shaming these orcs or tr- controlling right. them. And so like, it's not the realizing that, don't that they're punch fucking Nazi. orcs. Exactly, they don't exist. These are the the, the don't want to punch a Nazi people. Oh my. god. God. But also, like, orcs are disgusting. They're terrible. Like, and they like, talk actually, about it. They're like, yeah. oh, pink skins. Like, I'm going to skin them alive when I see They're them. And you're like, oh, bro. Hey, All they want to do is kill you. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. so I, I have a question. Is it, it, So can you control multiple like so, hordes of them at once? Like uh, an army? The way it works oh, is you get, I think you get, orcs. like... I don't know. There's an area around you that they seem to kind of, like, populate. And I think it's, like, maybe 10 or 15. And then they'll kind of shift you'll see him kind of like walking away and then like an enemy want to walk it so they'll swap you in and okay. out uh but it's about 10 to 15 but the idea is each area has 15 war chiefs and in those war chiefs are four like overlords Damn. and then there's one like master like war chief and those are like the generals that you have to like take over to like take over the fort and there's actually like you go to a place initiate a mission and then it's like and engage the like you siege the fort like they like your all of your orcs rush you guys like tear down the walls and fight like That's the cool. captains you have to go to the top of the keep and the the main orc comes down and you one v one him shit's awesome dude it sounds yeah. badass yeah. it's tight I'm gonna bring it over oh well I can't no I can I can do a digital version of it but yeah it's nice. fun just just to watch orcs fight each other you over just and over. broke my heart and then lifted me back <laughs> <I know. laughs> wow no, but I can uh, but I can't. <gasps> <laughs> I have one that uh, he's he's the overlord of like the first place that I took over, and he's like he looks super sad. He's got like this emo <laughs> swoop haircut <laughs> and like these tats all over his chest, and he's like very pale and sickly, like a tiny orc. And his name is Moz. Oh, Morris, Esteban. like Morrissey. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> That's a orc. Emo, he's like emo my orc. emo orc, like just the overlord. He's got like a caragor, which is like the lion. He's just like sad just emo sitting on top <laughs> of his like, lion. Like, sitting on a throne stroking his sad lion. <laughs> oh. He's higher level than all of them. He could kick ass, but he's just like, he just sits there. I just there. don't feel like it. Yeah. I'm just waiting around for my knight in shining ar- uh, armor to shame me. <laughs> Shadow of Mordor, mm. colon. <laughs> Shadow of War. Because oh. the, the first one was just Shadow of Mordor, something, whatever. This one's Shadow of War. So there's that obviously some, really bad title for a some, there's there's obviously kind of, some kind of light source if there's shadows. Correct. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Shadow. Gotcha. Like a two shadows. shadows. So that, and I also saw the trailer for uh, Praetoria. Did you guys see this yet? It looks super rad. Mm-mm. The uh, runner? The Olympic runner? Uh, no, that was the, oh, the guy that. No, no, uh, that was Pistorius. Pistorius, yeah. <laughs> I'll, sh- I'll show you guys the uh, the trailer during the break, but it's um it's it looks psychedelic as fuck. Like it looks super cool, and it's a Neil Blomkamp, uh, his studio, which is called Oats Studio. Yeah, it's so weird as name. You um, have mentioned this in the before, but it was just the rumblings about it, right? So the the actual trailer's out right now, and uh, Praetoria is the like the the Roman like legionnaire mm-hmm. defender. Um, and it just, it, it looks like janitor helmets, right? The janitor mop. It's just all janitors. It's like, (laughs) it's about a legion of janitors, interstellar, (laughs) just cleaning up the galaxy. Sold. Sold. Um, no, it looks, it looks very similar to, uh, you know, the, the same kind of, uh, district nine kind of, uh, weird advanced technology. I mean, like sort of this video he just showed us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looked that looked like the old school, like when they're like dangling like a paint can or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> light bulb hooked yeah, up. like oh my god, uh, the guy Ma, the get just, my gun! The guy in the background <laughs> just keeps constantly saying it's spooky, it's super spooky, right? I can't, I can't even <laughs> super spooky. so cylindrical and spooky. But yeah, it looks really cool. We'll post it to the uh, to the Fort Fritz website, uh, Facebook. But um, it definitely looks very cool, and it looks. Uh, like it'll be um it, it's a short it's actually a sh- it's going to be a short film initially and they're they're kind of pitching it as like this could be a universe or a potential like tv series or multi-movie thing cool we talked about uh, before if you go to the uh their youtube channel they've got tons of great short movies right 
Like, they're really um, well done. Like, sometimes just 15, 20 minutes movies. And sometimes with big stars like Sigourney Weaver. I think we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Uh, but they're really good. You just go on YouTube. And I think it's just Oats. O A T S. Would you need Red? That YouTube Red? No, no just normal no, YouTube. Really? No, huh. It's really, I mean, I sat there and like, yeah. like two hours just going through stuff at home, just being blown away by it. Man, Daddy surfing YouTube. What in a way? Uh, Whoa. Oh, be damned. Son of what? A- you can get down that YouTube <laughs> rabbit hole quick, boy. Oh, yeah, like, you oh can. it's so different. Yep. Anything, like, either movies or music, you just like. Music? Just, oh, you It's just great for yourself. music, right? Yeah, like, is. you get to, like, just the weirdest shit sometimes. Like, wow, like, uh, this has got 500 views. Then you go to K pop and you're lost forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming do, in a world of K pop. How do they do it? <laughs> how do I get out of here? <laughs> And then just bone crushing metal, and then back to pop. You're like, what? Oh, that's baby metal. Yeah. And mm-hmm. get, then you get baby metal. You put those together, you get baby metal. It's amazing. Which I I, I, I rep. I think they're cool. I have no problem with them. There's people that that's not metal at all. Shut up. I hate people just that debate what is and isn't metal. Yeah. You know? Like they they were saying for the longest time, Limp, Limp Biscuit wasn't metal. <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I beg to disagree, sir. <laughs> they were, they were, they were technically. If you want to get into it, is new metal, and you, which U-Lot. is corn uh, type of metal, corn, yes. corn. So it's metal. Yeah, so they're not metal. They're new metal. Just no, like, they're they, metal. Right. I, see, I would agree with you. I'm talking about the assholes that are really dicks about this. I got into a huge uh, back and forth on Facebook, which was one of the things I want to talk about. About new metal? That no, that just, that, <laughs> depending whether my band was metal or not. Not about new metal in general. Okay. Shouldn't you actually be having a argument about how things are categorized then? If not uh, it's, about it's, if it's metal or not, but about the whole like like. Come on, if okay, let's just uh, uh, an allegory. Let's Mandate, just say it's Christianity, and there's Baptists, and there's Presbyterians. <laughs> so if there's like speed metal and black metal and death metal, but wouldn't new metal be also under the heading of say quote unquote Christianity? <laughs> next try, next try. New metal is not metal. Uh huh. I think that's what Mandate says. I don't. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying new metal is metal. Yeah, no, but I it's completely not. disagreeing. I'm just saying that's not the argument. <laughs> You can, I mean, when uh, there is just the separations in the metal community gets really hilarious sometimes when people get, I mean, if you can sit there and debate the difference between grindcore and, Ugh. you know, and, you know, death metal and it just, like, but then, you know, I, I can actually, I can sit there and tell you the difference between death metal and grindcore. Angela, what's your favorite metal? <laughs> what's my favorite metal? Like band. Yeah. What, like what I was going to say iron and I'm pretty fit. Cobalt. Yeah, iron's like one of my. <laughs> and let her finish, let her finish. Oh damn! I don't know. Next question. Do you know the any metal at all? I do, but it's like I don't really have like it's not like a genre Casual. I listen to all the time. That Casual. like I would be like that's my favorite metal band. It just it just favorite comes metal up band. and it doesn't offend you. Death Club. Yeah, like I listen to everything. Like the radio can just be playing random music, and I'll go from like metal to rap to Taylor Swift, and I'll be like, I love all of this. Yeah, like I right. just like everything. So. Again, that new Tay Swift man. Ooh, Tay Tay. So favorite metal band? I'm say Death Clock, right? Death Clock. I, I'm probably it, it, in the vein of like not like you know wanting to be like a metal purist. Like I'm not one of those people. But then somebody will argue like Black Sabbath is metal, and I'll argue they that's are, like right. dad rock. They are, but no, the, they are the beginnings of metal. That's like, like just like, sweet you know, jammy like dad rock. How like it's not like grating or hard at all. Like well, when it, I think of metal, I think of like more blast beats and stuff well, like that. Have you really like, gotten into their catalog though? If you listen to you know the earlier stuff and a lot of the the early know, stuff because, is all like super like just. But, chill. but one of the main things is about the fact that Tony Iommi got some of his fingers cut off in a machine accident. And he had to make these little leather Dear things, God. and he had to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and so he wears these. That's leather. metal as fuck. <laughs> right yeah. there, you go. Now you understand. And so, because what, of that, he had to tune down because he couldn't feel because he's using uh, these leather things for fingertips. So it's that's just why down he's tuned down. Okay, and that's the start of that type of feel. So, would Misfits be that was your metal, metal minute? Would it be thrash? They're, no, they're <laughs> they're more minute. they'd be more considered punk or horror punk. punk. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was, was called thinking. horror pop. Yeah. Misfits? Horror pop or yeah. horror. I thought it was. Horror. I thought Mis- Misfits horror. was like rockabilly. No, nah, some I songs, see, I see songs elements of that. Touch on it. Yeah, yeah touch on I thought it. that pretty much they were like considered the starters of like a horror pop. Genre. Horror. American yeah. Nightmare from them totally sounds like it's got that like. Horror Billy kind of horror Psycho Billy, Billy. Psycho, Psycho Billy, Billy. Psycho Psycho Billy. Psycho Billy. No, but that's much more like sounds like the Stray Cats talking about corpses and coming, <laughs> and yeah. coming which is pretty tight. Yeah. Actually, that's exactly and, what the Misfits yeah, are impeccably quaffed yeah. with their tombstone right. hat pin playing casket shaped bass guitars and stuff upright. 
Rockabilly is one of those genres. Just it, it's it's got it's it's just locked in. You can yeah, you know, yeah. same thing. Same, same thing. thing. It's, it's, they all, all have their own little away. thing, and it's awesome. You know, it's just it'll always kids be there. are raised as like ska and rockabilly kids, and they just like go to those shows and yeah. become the thing. So what happens if a ska <laughs> girl marries a rockabilly guy? How do they raise Jeez. their kid? What do they do? They listen to Sublime. He's a skakabilly. Ah, they compromise. Yes. Skakabilly? Skakabilly. What are we Ooh. talking about again? Uh, metal. <laughs> metal. 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 Your metal. favorite metal, metal band. Metal. 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 Metallica. <laughs> Used to be amazing. Uh, at the Gates. Love them. Uh, the but it's thrash, right? It, technically. It's not. I feel early like, I early Metallica is supposed to be thrash. Oh, yeah. The yeah, early Metallica. Yeah. See? That was the beginnings of thrash. Get out of here. I'm done with it. <laughs> Ride the lightning. I'm going oh, yeah. to go listen to some Lionel Richie. Mm. Some fucking... <laughs> Some Elliot Smith. Well, what, what what do you got, Man Daddy? Uh, how many of y'all finished Stranger Things too? Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't uh, even watched it yet. I did yeah, neither. I just uh, neither I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Even the infamous episode seven that everyone is just losing their minds about, hey, saying how it's just horrible. I, I had enjoyed every episode. I thought they did a great job with it, taking it, making it bigger. You could tell the budget was way bigger. Yeah, and uh, just way, way <laughs> bigger. I was late. <laughs> but just a lot of fun. Did uh, you enjoy the entire thing? I, I enjoyed the entire thing except Mr. Muse. Oh, anyway. oh of course. Yeah, yeah we can. Yeah, you can't know what? Actually, that. I fell asleep that episode. <laughs> and my boyfriend was like, thank God you were sleeping. And I was like, <laughs> he's like, you don't want to know what happened. Oh, no, no. Right when we saw Mr. Muse, both me and Tracy are like, ah. Fuck. As soon as I ever see any animal that they, the camera lingers, I'm like, Oh, that yeah. man's gonna die. Yeah. Horror movie, a dog yeah. or a cat just shows up. You're like, ah, yeah. fuck, man. Yeah, uh, and that and that goes on to my that next topic because to uh, well, I was just looking through you know things trying to find paranormal news or not, and I saw an article about the what is your opinion? Can cats and dogs see ghosts? Oh. Ooh. Can cats and dogs see fish? Can't we know that for a fact? <laughs> no. Are you sure? They just can't. Oh yeah, no. Dude, I'm Maybe bad. that's why uh, they're just blankly staring ahead all the time. They, they, see, they see all the ghosts. <laughs> they see nothing but ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> they're just shocked. What the fuck? You, I don't speak English, but you got to like, turn around. are doing that thing with their mouth. They're just like, oh my god, oh my god. That's and then doing. like every couple of hours, they're like, this ghost wants to feed me. <laughs> no, that's a person. That's a person. They're, they're this okay ghost is cool. It's a cool ghost. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's a case where they like they have a weird dog or cat brain, and they just like something triggered, like a weird light flash, and they'll look, and you know, as people were like, "Oh, is that grandma?" Yeah, they saw, <laughs> they saw grandma. But oh, there are right. documented cases of things like with uh, uh, like sensing a oncoming earthquake or something. Yep. So they and have those are seizures for sure. Well, and like they- Lido understands when I'm like emotionally vulnerable and just brown like dog. soothes Aww, me. Oh, brown yeah, dog. True. Anyway, I have two dogs, white dog, brown dog. Well, cats can, and I don't know if dogs can, but like cats can like see different like UV rays and different like yeah, really. energies that we can. Yeah, so. they can. Yeah, they can definitely see light spectrums that yeah. we can't. If cats can do it, dogs cannot do it. <laughs> I don't see why any animal would be incapable of seeing a ghost. I'm going to say that all animals can probably see ghosts. If humans can see ghosts, I think but any I mean, like, animal can see a ghost. all the time. I mean, not just like how we can only see them occasionally. Oh, no, 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 just, no, like, just like if there's a ghost around the cat's like, don't there's a ghost, would... we won't see it. Like when your cat is like, Going like that, maybe it's just checking out a ghost that you don't see. Right, but don't you think that would define <laughs> the personality of your cat or dog? Like, if it sure. can see ghosts all the time, but so maybe they can't. Maybe just every once in a while or in different yeah. Maybe just the ghosts locations. of things they've killed. It would make more sense if it was occasionally, because they don't act, like, all the time. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like <laughs> No, it happens at, like, 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> That's when the cats go ape shit. Yes. Right? Um, but like, I'll be honest, like if I ever wake up like, oh, what was that? I immediately look at my cats and if my cats look worried. I'm like, shit. But if they're like, whatever, I'm like, everything's fine. You have like guard cats. Like, yeah. The, they tell you when, when they're minions. Worried. Yeah. All right. If like they're scared, I'm scared. You send them into the dark. I feel like it's the other way with dogs. Like dogs are always like looking at their human. Like, are we scared? <laughs> and cats are like, we're scared. We're scared. <laughs> <laughs> but also, um. I could pull up the town and all that, but it's on my phone. I don't feel like pulling it up right now, and I'm a lazy bastard. So anyway, um, <laughs> in a town in Russia, they had a time capsule that they had buried and they uh, for 50 years, and they just brought it out. And one of the things that they talked about, they had like a note to the future. Like, we know that this is what must be like in the future. And talk about how we know that by now you've been to the moon, you've been to the Mars, and you're huh. traveling through the stars. And also a part that talked about how we know that by now you're communicating and having a you know, relationship with alien species and really? all this. 
And so it's like, wow, they they had really high hopes 50 years ago in Russia because, I mean, none of that has happened except for the moon thing, as well, far as we know. If people have ever used, uh, like, Tinder or Grinder, we have communicated with aliens. It's just, like, it's so unreal that humans can be so vile, you know, like, on the, like, uh, the Breitbart comment sections and things like that. So maybe that's what they're referring to. We're we're seeing the dark sides of ourselves. Uh, I I would if, if a lot of the people that I've encountered from Breitbart are aliens and lizards. I would not be shocked at all, you know, because they're definitely not people. Point taken. Was there anything sort of like spooky about the letter itself? Like maybe sort of like they nailed it, like from fifty years ago. Like no, like, that's the thing the post- they completely missed. Well, but like <laughs> even like a like a, a postscript of like P.S. Like by you're gonna need some eggs or like I don't know like <laughs> Huffpo is a liberal rag or like, I just, I just say, uh, P.S. About fifty years is gonna be this dude named Trump totally back yeah, him just, totally ooh, back him. And by the way, he likes pee pee. Uh, <laughs> I wonder. Well, if, it's a Russian thing. Yeah. <laughs> I God wonder, damn it! What? Timely. I wonder if, if <laughs> I wonder if like when uh, like city centers uh, when they when they put their time capsule into the ground, it's it's always overreaching. Like if it was just something like your Thursday was uh, just another Thursday, <laughs> and you know it, Bob. <laughs> like <laughs> it's it. all random things that just might fit. Just throw it against the wall and see maybe you luck out fifty years in the future. <laughs> Admit it. Nothing has changed. Am I right? Or just open it up and say, hey, Karen, Paul totally did it. <laughs> like, how did they know? Poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> well, that they can see coming because we just right. were reverting back to hieroglyphs. So. Right. Oh, that is true. Isn't it? Yeah. We are, we are going to become like Egyptians. We communicate with pictures and we worship cats. There's nothing wrong with that. No. <laughs> so there's a person wearing a mother of cat shirt. <laughs> I, well, am okay, who, I am who I am. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I think we're going to land right about there. That is the non mini sewed mini sewed. That's the maxi mini sewed number 19 right maxi there. Mini maxi mega sewed. Mini <laughs> mega sewed. It's, like it's like a digi pack of mini sewed. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. It's like it's, uh, but saying digi maxi, it sounds like a tampon. It's sword. like the yeah. Costco of mini sews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More than you really want or are actually going to use. Right. You're just kind of like, uh, why did I do this? Yeah. You're going to have much- to freeze like half of this and hope right. it's still good in a month later. Oh, honey, you bought the 16 pound mustard. <laughs> that's cool. That's no, a lot that's of mustard, cool. honey. That's mustard cool. doesn't go bad. Mustard's one of those foods that uh, hardly ever goes bad. Like, honey does honey, not go yep, bad. Exactly. Damn, we're right back into the episode. So, anyway. <laughs> No, but thank you all very much for listening. If you made it through to the end of this, just really, you are an amazing friend to us, and we thank you. Uh, we'll be coming back with the uh, whole new season two in a little while. We'll let you know when that's coming. Uh, got a lot of surprises in store for you. Can we tease something? Uh, maybe I shouldn't say it. Mm. It's going to be no. fun, right? It's going to be super fun? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll leave it there. That's incredible. Hey, so anyway, just please <laughs> thank you very much for listening. Uh, share us as much as possible. Go on the YouTubes. Go on to the Libsons. Go on to the Stitchers. Go on to the Spreckers. Do all of that. And by sharing, it's caring, and you help us out. Check us out everywhere you can. Thank you so much for listening. We got over here. We got Kaz. Hello. Over there, we got Angela. Hello. Over there, we got Nick Spry. Hello. That over there is the Fritz. Yellow. I am Man Daddy, and thank you very much for listening to Fort Fritz.